Okay, this is a little video just showing you how to fit carpet, yeah? So, for you, here we go, yeah? This is your carpet grip, yeah? It's got tacks in it. The tacks should face towards the skirting, so it grips the carpet, yeah? Your um, carpet grip, yeah? Should be about a quarter of an inch from your wall. Yeah, you just tack it to the floor or you put some glue down just to help it stick depending on the surface you have. This is concrete, so you use the glue and the tacks. Yeah, so we've done that. Going around here. There you go, a quarter of an inch roughly, yeah. And then we're gonna put it on the layer afterwards. So it's just a simple case of putting it down, tacks facing the wall, glue down, glue down, start again. Yeah, first you put your glue down. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we've glued it. Yeah, then we get our carpet grips, nails facing to the skirting, and we tack it down. Yeah, quarter of an inch should be sufficient. Yeah. Okay, there you are, our carpet grips down. Yeah, basically a coming long strip and you just need uh, side cutters, tin snips, not tin snips, sorry, you just need some type of cutters, scissors, whatever you use, cut it, axle, it's entirely up to you. And you just tack it down, roughly a quarter of an inch around the square sides. And we're now ready to put that our underlayer, yeah, which is here, yeah. So we're gonna press that open and put that down, and I'll show you as I go along. We've got our carpet grips on, and we've got our um, underlayer on, yeah. Now you can see it just fits just inside your carpet grip, yeah, and you can put glue on it to help it stay down if you like. It's not a must. It is on yeah. the floor this time. But if it's on a concrete floor, it's advisable. Yeah, bits like this, you can just join. Yeah, there you go. Okay, once you get your carpet roughly laid out in your room how you want it, you then gotta cut your corners out. Basically, just a little bit like that, so it sits in roughly where you want it. There, yeah. around there. This will take a bit of practice to get it right. But once you got your carpet down, lay it out, corners cut, and you need your stretcher. Okay, this is your carpet stretcher, and the way this works, it's got teeth in it. You can see the angle and as you put it onto the carpet and you go forward with it, you use your knees like that, yeah, and you hit it and it basically pulls the carpet forward. You press down on the grippers there, so it would be something like that. Press down with your knees and it will grip. Once you've got done that, you then need your bolster and you just basically mark it along. There you go. So when you're cutting there, because you've left a quarter of an inch behind there, you need to leave a quarter you, yeah, to it tuck it on there. There you go, that's how you cut the carpet. Press your carpet down in between the corners and wipe it along as you go get your carpet in place. 